Welcome to Building a Character, where I'm going to be building your favorite characters using Pathfinder and Spheres of Power. Check the description for the character sheet, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Today we'll be building Major Lawrence Barnes, or Prophet, from Crisis. There's going to be a remake at some point, but it's a waste of time, because I still can't run the first game on my PC. This will be a very different build than usual, thanks to the class, it's going to be a lot shorter, but let's go ahead and get this started. What are the goals of this build? Goal number one is the nano suit. Obviously, that's his bread and butter. Goal number two is the divinity sphere for those prophetic predictions that always end up coming true. And goal number three, I think the man is secretly a warforged, so we're gonna find a way to get those immunities. On to race. Prophet was a human. Since the closest thing to what he is by the end of Crisis 3 is a warforged, I decided yeah, let's not do that because there's no war force in Pathfinder. So we're going to go with Archon Blooded Asimar. Asimar is going to be the new human on this channel. I swear to God it is. Why for Asimar? Well, plus two constitution and plus two wisdom, celestial resistance, dark vision, and because his voice sounds something better than human anyway. It's probably because of the nano suit. Next, we'll be moving on to stats. I'll be using 15 point buy, but roll for stats if your DM wants it. First will be Dexterity and Wisdom at 14, you'll need to be fast, and you're, thanks to your leadership, you'll need to be wise. Plus your roll saves will be kind of low, so having a higher Wisdom modifier will help. Next will be Constitution at 12, the plus 2 will put it up to 14, and we'll be dropping nearly every stat point into it, you need to be tanky. Strength will be at 12, the Nano Suit will help with this, so we don't need to worry. Um, intelligence will be at 11, don't need it too much for other than skill points. And last will be Charisma at 10. Even though you're a leader, you're basically a robot and you suck at talking. Now then, all 20 levels will be in Conscript. I'll put the progression chart up on screen now for you to see. This video will be a short one for sure. And by level 20, you'll be getting 10 extra combat talents, 11 bonus feats for free. The only feats that I'll recommend are the basic and advanced magic training feats, so you'll end up with a caster level of 10, and you can take that dip into the divination sphere to tell everyone about the Alpha Seth that doesn't exist, or they believe doesn't exist. The stat increases at level 4, 8, 16, and 20 will be plus one constitution, and the stat increase at level 12 will be plus one intelligence for skill points. Now we'll move into feats. Level one feat will be exotic weapon proficiency for firearms, this will allow you to use technological weapons. Level three will be improved initiative because going first is always, always nice. Level five will be combat reflexes or muscular reflexes. Level seven will be craft technological arms and armor. You don't need to worry about it too much since your crafting will be relatively low, but in case you wanna go into technological weapons, it's a good thing to have. Level 9 will be Vital Strike, obvious reasons. Level 11 will be Devastating Strike, again, big boy damage. Level 13 will be Far Shot if you're using guns or an extra combat talent if you're not. Level 15 will be an extra combat talent. Level 17 and level 19 will be Improved and Greater Vital Strike. I have to do Vital Strike because Spheres of Power is based on standard actions mostly and Vital Strike just works for it. Anyway, we'll move on to the nano suit. Since it does have scaling, and since you'll be taking the full progression of uh, its scaling, thanks to Conscript, you can, you can easily, easily get a number of different talents. Not only because Conscript gives you all those bonus uh, talents and feats, but because with the way the pilot sphere works, you can get extra mech enhancements that would increase your either defensive abilities or offensive abilities, depending on how you want to do it. The first thing we'll do, we'll dip into the pilot sphere, take the sealed in the machine and cyborg pilot drawbacks, then take bonus customization every five levels. The two biggest upgrades that you'll want and need is shielded cockpit at level 13 and cerebral reinforcement at level 15. With the both of those, you basically have construct immunities while being a human or Asimar. Obviously, you'll take the bipod mech, and by level 20, you should end up with around 22 strength, 30 dexterity, 41 AC, 350 health, and 20 hardness, or so. Your roll saves are low, but the construct immunities will basically avert some of that. Now it's time for the pros and cons of this build. A five minute video, holy shit. 
for pros construct immunities i don't even need to say anything else number two you have a massive 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 health and hardness buffer you will almost be taking no damage half the time at least by level 20. with that 41 ac and the 30 and the 350 health you almost never need to worry about anything other than like aoe's and thanks to your nano suit you have a massive reflex bonus so even aoe's you can kind of scoff at number three you're a jack of all trades thanks to the conscript uh class you can go into any and well, any combat spheres that you want to kind of build him however you want do you want to use the bow take the sniper and barrage sphere do you want to use your meat mallets take the open hand and wrestling sphere do and brute do how you want to do for cons you're a jack of all trades which means you're going to be everywhere unless you decide to specialize Number two, it does require a bit of a certain setting. If you're going in like a in like the standard Pathfinder setting of kind of medieval, this is not the build you want to use. Go with the uh, Jean build that I made for an army, or uh, the Alucard build that I made for you know a vampire. I don't know how you want to do it. Those builds will be in the card up top. And number three you might piss off your dm a little bit because he's gonna have to buff up enemies to be actually be able to hit you at least some enemies and your party members are gonna hate you too because you're kind of unkillable especially if you dip further into the pilot sphere and you unlock more uh of the hardness and ac upgrades i think the max you'll end up with is like 52 ac and like 30 or 40 hardness almost so i didn't want to drag this out any longer than you know obvious reasons but i'll see you later allow me to introduce myself karl ernstach at your service and uh, you are they call me prophet